Hey there, let's take a tour around Pinkfish to see what it can do. Um, I've opened up a new automation here and I'm going to get started um, building something that um, is on my list for today. I'm going to start out by saying generate five mock Salesforce account objects with annual revenue between 50k and 1 million. And what I'm interested in here is generating a data set that I can then use in subsequent steps um, so I can test out um, a, a, an automation that I'm building around um, that manipulates Salesforce accounts. So here you can see that what Pinkfish did is it read my prompt and then generated code to meet the objective that I outlined in the prompt. And you can see that it did exactly that. Now I can view the data here in JSON. So I can open it up and see these account objects. I can view the raw data, a little bit hard to read. I can see a log of what happened in the script that ran and also a table that shows me the data in tabular view, which is um, a nice, easy way to see the data. So now that I have a step one, uh, I'm going to make another step, step two, where I reference the data from step one. So I can say something like using the results from step one, give me just the accounts with revenue over 500K. And so now what I'm doing is I'm reading in the result from step one, and I'm writing code that then references that. Um, and this is a typical pattern where we see, um, we, see what, we see people building automations that get data into the automation in step one or step two, um, and then process the data in some interesting way, either process it or enrich it um, and make some kind of new data set out of um, the data that they read in step one. Um, and you can see here that now we have two accounts with revenue um, over 500K. Uh, in a step three that I might add, I could send that, maybe I wanna create a PDF report and send that out to my boss. These are new accounts that have signed up today um, with 500K or more in annual revenue. Um, but this is, uh, these are the mechanics of Pinkfish. One, describe what you want. Um, it then generates code to meet your objective review the output so you can understand um, if it uh, was correct or not. If not, you can continue to chat with Pinkfish and have it modify um, the code that it's written until you get to a point where you have outputs that you want. Um, looking at the results here, a bunch of different ways to look at it, navigating between the results from the different steps. And if you want, adding files in so it can ma manipulate files, maybe as part of step one, you wanted to read in data from a file triggers uh, are what you put on top of the automation when you want to run it either via an api or via a schedule so i could say let's run this automation every morning at 9 a.m pull in new accounts and do the same kind of filtering um, and default inputs is where you set uh, inputs that uh, run consistently with the automation every time uh, in case you want to um, uh, use some values that are interesting for you mainly in testing and development so those are the fundamental mechanics of Pinkfish. You can really build almost anything you like um, with, these, with these mechanics in place, and I hope you have a good time.